So yes, look, by the time you've seen this, AEW Dynamite may be over and done with and you will have the official answers, but let's not pretend that Chris Jericho isn't going to fight a lot more mystery people from Ring of Honor. So what I, some from what culture, decided to do was put my thinking hood on and try to figure out who the hell this could be. Now do not forget this entire storyline has changed from former Ring of Honor world champions to anyone who has ever competed in ROH and had gold around their waist. So yeah. Here's seven dudes that Chris Jericho, during his Ring of Honor run, could bump into. In case you like to go behind the fourth wall, maybe this video used to be eight and we predicted Colt Cabana. But now nobody will ever believe that. Seven, Tomohiro Ishii. Now this one ticks all the boxes because Ishii is not only a former Ring of Honor TV champion, the forbidden door is already open because AEW and New Japan have worked together time and time again. But seriously, even though Ishii is one of the greatest wrestlers ever, like if you're into hard hitting stuff, he is one of the best. For some reason, NJPW never really minds the fact that he loses. It also ties into the fact that Chris Jericho is a really smart dude. And honestly, go and watch every single Ishii match from the last, like, I don't know, 12 years. He never has a bad one. It doesn't matter who his opponent is. It doesn't matter who he's working. He somehow raises his game every single time. So if you put him in there with someone like Jericho, well, they're going to have a certified banger, five, six point nine, seven stars in the Tokyo Dome. So I'm going to say that there is a 70% chance of this one being accurate, either for Dynamite or somewhere down the line. If nothing else, look at me. I'm a wrestling nerd. I want to see Jericho versus Ishii. Number six, Davy Richards. A former Ring of Honor world champion and a former Ring of Honor tag team champion. The reason Davy Richards would be so good is because in the past he has actively said, well, I don't really want to be a TV wrestler. I think the independent scene is much more fun and he is even went on Twitter and said, but I'd love to fight Chris Jericho. The story is literally right there. Richards is also a niche firm fan favorite, which usually does help in these scenarios because you'll get that portion of the crowd that'll be like, oh my gosh, David Richards, I can't believe it. But also that guy never got his due. It's like Ishii all over again. You could just watch match after match after match after match, even after he took his hiatus and came back and be like, God, keep smashing it. It's probably fair to say that he's not in his prime anymore, but he can't help that. You can't fight age. This one probably is a little bit of a long shot because of that. So I'm going to give it a rating of 25%. Five, Nick or Matt Jackson. Now, this may seem crazy. It may seem bonkers. It may seem stupid. But Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, have to be introduced to AEW television at some point. And given that they did win a lot of Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships, Maybe you could give it to one of them. But also set up a potential program between the Elite and the Jericho Appreciation Society. And given that the trio's tag team titles have to be worked back onto Kelly Omega, Matt and Nick Jackson eventually, the Jericho crew could then be their first opponents. Now we are fantasy booking here. This is like the kind of thing you write on Reddit R squared circle. So I'm going to give it a predictability factor of like 40%. Don't pretend otherwise. You pop your socks off. Number four, El Generico. That's right, I am tying directly into kayfabe here. And while some of you are going, Simon, El Generico is Sami Zayn and he's in WWE right now. Well, not according to the wrestling story, he's not. El Generico just magically vanished and apparently went to work in some orphanage many years ago. And given that he used to be a Ring of Honor world champion, maybe it's time he came back. Seriously though, if you have never seen El Generico work, you've got to check it out because much like one Sami Zayn, he's just the best damn babyface ever who is able to generate such sympathy. But yeah, when we have to put our boring hats back on, no, it's not going to be El Generico because that was Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is under contract for WWE. But this is why I want WWE and AEW to be worked together more as friends, because Sami could come back in the mask and people like me would just go, ah, this is the best thing ever. But yeah, when we get to the percentages, I'm gonna give it 1% because you never say never. But yeah, number three, Jerry Lynn. And maybe this one would be a little bit of a disappointment now, just because when you have a mystery person, you shouldn't tie it into an angle you've already shot. And a few weeks ago on Dynamite, Chris Jericho tombstone Jerry Lynn on the entranceway. And the only reason I don't want that to come together here is because you can save this match for down the line. Because again, Chris Jericho wants to fight everybody during this angle. But you still have to put it on the table because one, as I've already said, it does make sense. But two, you would still get that pop from people who remember how good Lin was as they start to think, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's 2022 and I'm about to see him again. Chris Jericho and Jerry Lynn would also be an absolutely fantastic match. 
And in many ways, it's a dream contest. Like when I was watching Jerry Lynn as a kid and I grew up and I appreciated Chris Jericho, at some point I must have gone, well, it would be great if they could cross paths once again. So I wouldn't rule this one out and I think it's a great backup plan. I'm gonna give it a rating of 75%. Number two, Chris Hero. Now we are really getting into crazy territory now because when it comes to Chris Hero, who is a terrific professional wrestler, by the way, I don't think he has wrestled ever since before the pandemic. So if you could get him back, this is gonna be a massive coup. But seriously, there was a time when Hero basically was Mr. Ring of Honor, going in there having bangers of matches and winning championships all over the place. And if he did all of a sudden make his return, once again, you would get that sensation that we're about to see Chris Jericho versus Chris Hero, and there is no way it could be bad. I mean it, seriously. Chris Hero gets such a bad rap in the weird corners of the dark internet where they don't know what they're talking about. He is effortlessly brilliant at the sport of kings, and I honestly don't know how he does it. After the fact, too, you could team him up with Claudio Castagnoli again, because those two in Ring of Honor were the damn world tag team champions. So once again, I'm just marking out at this one. That's the whole point of wrestling, you're meant to have fun. Oh, I forgot the probability factor. 80%. Number one, Homicide. So this one is super likely as well because Homicide won a tag team championship in Ring of Honor. He won the world championship. He's already been on AEW programming and he's really good friends with Eddie Kingston within the story and out of it. But who does Eddie Kingston hate? Da -da -da -da. Christopher Jericho. Jericho has also proven over and over again that if you do take him and put him against a wrestler who's hard as nails, they will deliver every single time. So this could be a little bit like the Nick Gage match just without the glass and all the other violence that made me cry for about a year. Homicide is also a guy that can lose without affecting him at all, and I presume that Chris Jericho is going to win this match. And maybe this is how you work Eddie Kingston back into the feud as well. So as it is at number one, I'm gonna say this is the most probable and give it a rating of 92%. But if I had to pick any of the names that came up my mouth, I'd go with Colt Cabana, because I was born for chaos. Not any other former Ring of Honor champions that you think Chris Jericho is either going to face on Dynamite or at any point down the line. Make sure you let them know in the comments below, then like the video, share the video and subscribe. Head over to whatculture.com where we'll keep you up to date with all of the news. Make sure you follow us on social media at Simon316 and WhatCultureWWE. And we've got loads of videos, a lot of which will be about this very subject. Make sure you're educated. My name is Simon for WhatCulture. Thank you very much for joining me as always. You make sure you have a lovely day. Put a smile on your face. Never forget to be oozy. See you soon.